Hey, it's Corey from Who's Army, and I'm just going to run through some of the guitar parts from uh, Trooper's Raise a Little Hell as performed by Who's Army on Cover Me Canada. So, um, first off, we're going to start with an E chord. We lowered the song's key, uh, suit us, and did a little, little reharmonization with the verse. So, chords are going to be an E, F sharp minor, C sharp minor, and A major, and then E, F sharp minor, C sharp minor held into the chorus. So, this part's got some uh, arpeggiation, so we're going to count it um, in uh, triplets here. So, one, two, three, 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 one, two, Fingers 1 and 3 for the F-sharp minor. Fingers 1 and 2 again on the C-sharp minor. Finger 3 playing that C-sharp. Open the string there. And then this A major 7 shape with the first finger bar across the second fret. I like the pinky up here. You can use your third uh, finger instead, but pinky sets up the pull-off nice here. The second finger. And then uh, second time around, slide up to the 11th fret and then buy the first finger across the 9th fret. Um, cool, so moving on we've got uh, the chorus part. Uh, so this is going to be another triad shape here, uh, an E major. So like the basic um, open position chord, an octave higher and just the top four strings of the guitar. Um, and this kind of has a bit of a swing feel to it. Um, so you're going to take that shape, move it down uh, two frets for the D. And then we've got an A triad shape, which is kind of uh, stems from the C form chord, or uh, you know, an open position C chord. So just the middle three notes of that. And then back up to the E here, only this time we're going to leave our first finger off, so you get the open B string, and a little um, suspension there with the pinky finger on the, third, uh, on the third string, and then the fill here, so slide there, open B, pull off, pull off, open E, open B, slide up, open E, hammer on. Cool, so uh, second fill. So slide up on the third string, bar across with the first finger, so second finger slide, bar with the first finger, and then we're gonna pull off with the third finger to the bar. And then slide up to the 16th fret. And the second and third fingers here. And then back and forth. So in context, that's gonna feel And then the uh, third and final fill, which is probably my favorite, has a little hy hybrid picking. And on the tab, you'll see I've uh, labeled the uh, the pick, the middle finger, and the index finger. So uh, hopefully that makes it a little easier. Or it's my mistake, uh, the pick, the middle finger, and the ring finger. Of course, the index finger is holding the pick. Um, so you got this little power chord shape up here. So with your first, second, and fourth fingers. So pick middle, pick ring, pick middle, pick ring, pick middle, 
pull off. And then for fingering, we've got the first finger, second finger, and the pinky. And then the pinky's gonna move over to the second string. You're gonna bar the first finger for that G sharp on the first string. Back to the pinky, and it's gonna pull off back to the 17th fret there. So in context, this is... And uh, finally, we've got the bridge part. So this has been an arpeggio. Um, so it's kind of like a G bar chord, only we're gonna have our first finger up uh, on the first string here, the 10th fret. And then fingers two, three, and four along the 12th fret here. Back to the slower triplets for this, kind of like the, the same way we counted the verse. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to drop down to the 11th fret on the 3rd string, switching the 2nd and 3rd fingers around to do that. This is a B minor. And then up to the E minor shape here. So that's a 1st finger bar on the 12th fret. And then A major shape, which is the same as the G major, just up uh, 2 frets. And just once on that. And then again, this is like the, the top uh, four notes of a, a D bar chord here on the 10th fret. So your first finger is barring the first and second strings. One pass on that. And then a B major here. So and that's kind of based off the C chord. Um, and I'll just run through this once more. Thanks for tuning in, and maybe we'll see you next week.